Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean E, and in today's video, we are talking about the circumference of a circle. What is the circumference of a circle? Well, you're probably familiar with squares and how they have perimeters, right? Which is the sum of the length of the sides, which is the distance around the square. Circumference is the same thing with a circle. Uh, we just have a different name for it because it's kind of different um, because, of course, it's a circle. There's no corners or anything. It's not the sum of the lengths of sides. It's just the length around the circle. The distance around the circle, perhaps, I should say. And the circumference, we'll denote with a big C, is equal to pi times the diameter. And this is because pi the irrational number pi is equal to, you can see from dividing by both sides, it's defined by the ratio of the circumference of a circle to the diameter of a circle. No matter what circle you look at, if you take its circumference and divide by its diameter, the resulting number is pi. So of course, using this equality, we can multiply both sides by d, and you get the formula for the circle's circumference. So circumference is equal to pi times the diameter, and this line here is the diameter. It's a segment with both endpoints on the circle that passes through the center, which is right there. So if you take the length of this diameter, say it was three, if that was the length of d, then the circumference would just equal three times pi, and this would be around nine and a third. So Again, the circumference, it's just the length around the circle, the distance around the circle. It's just like the perimeter of a square. Um, it's just the special word that we use for circles, and it has this very cool relationship to the diameter of a circle. Uh, also, the diameter is equal to two times the radius of a circle, so you can also write circumference equals two pi r. That's pi times twice the radius. So I hope this video helped you understand what the circumference of a circle is and how you can find it. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Let me know though if you have any questions in the comments or if, or if you need anything clarified. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You love it up there's a light where I float that erases